Dusty Mary, gentlemen, let nothing you dismay. Remember Christ our Savior was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we were gone astray. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy, comfort and joy. Oh, tidings of comfort and joy. Merry Christmas, everybody. Merry Christmas. It's good to be with you here online. Let's have some Christmas. Here we go. It's the most wonderful time of the year. With the kids jingle belling and everyone telling you be of good cheer. It's the most wonderful time of the year. It's the ha happiest season of all. With those holiday greetings and gay happy meetings when friends come to call. It's the ha happiest season of all.
wherever you're watching from, whatever you're doing, would you just turn to the people next to you and wish them a Merry Christmas. Come on. It's a wonderful time. It's the time of the year. There'll be parties for hosting, marshmallows for toasting, caroling out in the snow. There'll be scary ghost stories and tales of the glories of Christmases long, long ago. It's the most wonderful time of the year. There'll be much mistletoeing and hearts will be glowing, loved ones on me. Christmas, everybody. If we have never met before, my name is Peter Hyde, and welcome to the first ever online Christmas, uh, Peter Hyde Christmas show. Um, it is uh, a new experience uh, for me and for all my crew, and as uh, 2020 uh, would have it, um, is that uh, we would, we ran into a few technical difficulties, and if you are on this one and you're watching this show right here, uh, we, had, we had to switch the YouTube link that links you to the show. So if you're here, well done. You made it. Good job. Uh, if you know of people that are going, hey, where's the concert? Would you be so kind as to share and share and post and share uh, to get people to the right spot? Because it happened within the last 20 minutes we ran into an issue as would be 2020. So as we gather here tonight, we get together and we have just to enter into this Christmas season, um, I would invite you to, as awkward as it might feel at times, to sing along. Uh, the, we're going to have some times to do that. Um, put it on the big speakers, crank it up as much as you want, because in this time that we have, my hope and my prayer is that since we didn't get to do any type of Christmas concerts and tours this year, then my hope and prayer for you would be that maybe still this might help us launch us into uh, this last Sunday of Advent and then even launch us into Christmas Eve as we celebrate the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ and even more so have some great family time and get together and get our hearts and minds in a year that could really use some Christmas joy. Would that be fair to say? So to do that, uh, let's just sing a little bit. You don't, you know this one. Um, sometimes there might be lyrics that show across the bottom of the screen. Sometimes there may not. Uh, but if, if they're not, you're going to probably know them anyway. For most of you, we've been together for a long time. Or you just know them because they're Christmas songs. So how about this one? This is one uh, that I think we could all do from when we were in elementary school and even up to now to go. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Fixin, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the most famous reindeer of all? You know this, ready? Rudolph the red-nosed reindeer had a very shiny nose. And if you ever saw it, you would even say it glows. Now all of the other reindeer used to laugh and call him names. They never let poor Rudolph join in any reindeer games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, Santa came to say, Rudolph, with your nose so bright, won't you guide my sleigh tonight? Then all the reindeer loved him as they shouted out with glee. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer, 
all the Christmas cheers, we've done that song a lot, but as many of you might know and have been wanting to hear, it leads into another song. So growing up and watching that show, uh, I just loved the show, watched it every time I could, growing up on the farm up in western Minnesota, and yet um, in the past years of Christmas tour, loving that song and loving that, just that half hour, 20 minutes of claymation of high quality uh, cartoon, is that Another song came out, and it came from this. A friend of mine named Lo Lloyd Garlts, who uh, has been on many of the tours with me, we started to have this conversation about a deer that actually made Rudolph the success he was. And so out of that came this song, and this deer, we recognized him by the name of Kevin. Right. He's the guy who was behind the scenes, never really paid attention to, but he was the one that with, without him... Rudolph, we believe, would not have been the success. So we have, over the years, like Kevin, the unknown reindeer, has his own Facebook page. You could probably go look at it right now. And he also has, uh, we wanted to make sure we carry the cause of Kevin, because there's a lot of Kevins in the world that, uh, shall we say, uh, yeah, make other people better and make other people the heroes and the success. So we actually made uh, this T-shirt. And this is the image from the T-shirt. So if you look at that right there, um, you'll actually see there's Santa and there's Rudolph and there's Kevin. Kevin kind of looking how we might imagine Kevin, but I've always emphasized, look at the attitude of Rudolph. I don't know if he appreciated Kevin. So this version is for all of you who are Kevins in someone's life or you know a Kevin. And uh, why? Because lots of people are products of other people. Lots of people make other people better. It goes like this. You know Dasher and Dancer and Prancer and Vixen, Comet and Cupid and Donner and Blitzen. But do you recall the least famous reindeer of all? Kevin, the unknown reindeer, had a story all his own. Chances you've never heard it, because Rudolph always stole the show. Now all of the other reindeer, they never really knew his name. They only let poor Kevin carry water to their games. Then one foggy Christmas Eve, some heard Santa say, Who are you? You're in my way. I'm running late to board my sleigh. But Kevin would find his purpose. He's working hard behind the scenes. Cause who do you think taught Rudolph to pull a sleigh and fly with that is for all the Kevins in the world. And uh, yeah, it's just good to remember Kevins, especially in this year that we're in. But we're going to we're going to keep singing. Come on, let's sing together like this. Here we go. Come on.
Jesus Christ is born. Go, 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 tell it. Go, 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 tell it. Go, 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 tell it. Yeah, good job. I could hear you. Okay, it's not true. But it is good. Um, you know, uh, all the songs that we're singing tonight uh, are available. And uh, sounds like a plug, and, well, it is. <laughs> all the songs that we're singing are, um, are out there. It's been so fun. Christmas records, uh, I've made four of them over the time. And then even the new single that we made this year. And uh, I just love it because I think Christmas is such a, just a great time to sing and sing loud. And yet the gospel and the goodness of God flows so well. And it's just so fun in Christmas music. So if you are interested in any of the music, um, most all the music is available on your favorite digital platform. But I'd also point you to the website. Because on the website we have this place called Bandcamp where you can actually buy the tunes, download and the one record on there called This Christmas is only available on the Peter Eyed Bandcamp. So you should see that link underneath at, in the intro there or at the, underneath this picture on the YouTube. And you can just click right there. If any of the songs you're going, hey, I want to know about that song, you can go to that and find them all there. Uh, and uh, hopefully that even as we are here at the 19th of December that you find them to be encouraging and helpful in your Christmas in your Christmas worship. Um, one of the fun things that I got to do over my career as uh, traveling and musician and singing and rock, song and making records was actually to write some Christmas songs. And um, I'd always, whenever I write songs, I'd always kind of write songs from where life, where I was doing life from and uh, what happened. I love to tell stories of my life or other people's lives. I just love to tell stories in that way because I think stories can speak good news about who God is. And uh, one of these songs um, I wrote uh, from a tradition that has to do with a candle. And this year it has kind of brought a new meaning. Uh, I got pretty used to all, so my wife and I, we have five children. I got pretty used to all five children being in the house because when the pandemic came in March, Everybody had to come at home, and we hunker down, whatever. And though it's a lot of big bodies, because they're not little, they're like older, and they're doing all their thing, it was really a great time. I know a lot of families that have experienced great uh, family time in the midst of the harsh parts of the pandemic and what it meant. But now, um, things kind of changed a little bit. Some of them went to school, and now as they're coming back home from school for Christmas break, I find myself going, I can't wait till they get home. I can't wait till they get there. I can't wait till we get to spend these weeks now again together. And this tradition of a candle looks like this. It's that when you have a candle um, and you put it in your window, the tradition says that anybody who sees the candle, that you've been expecting them, you're excited to see them, and you just want them to come on inside. And so from that tradition and a new experience even for myself uh, this year with my family and just getting so excited to be with them, um, came a song that goes like this. On a cold Judean hillside A pilgrim and a young bride Desperately they seek a welcome Candle shining bright her eyes are filled with worry. She says, Joseph, we must hurry. Find a place to stay. Today's the day this child will be born tonight. He was, so they laid him in the hay. Because they could find no one who would say, Come on in. No need to knock upon my door. you come here for come on in all I have is here to serve you though you know I stand unqualified please come inside you know I can still remember it was early in December 
My dad would light a candle in our window every night. More than Christmas decoration, it was a shining invitation to those we've waited for. Come home once more and warm by the fireside. We burned our welcome candle through the dark. Lord, can you see one burning in my heart? Come on in, no need to knock upon my door. Come on in, I know what you've come here for. Come on in, all I have is yours to serve you. Though you know I stand unqualified, please come inside. upon my door come on in I know what you've come here for come on in all I have is yours to serve you and don't you know I stand unqualified oh please come inside come on in Well, um, I'm going to just do a very kind of uh, um, I'm going to check, guys, after this. Guys, how are we doing? Glitch, we're good? Thumbs up? We're in good shape? Everybody, as I said before, we had a little technical glitch, and uh, you might be getting texts from some people, hey, where's the concert? There's a new link. Please share the link. Share the link. Help a brother or sister out and get him in that right spot. And uh, yeah, it's kind of like putting a candle in the window of your computer. <laughs> Come on in over here. Um, you know, the one thing about in this uh, season, um, lots of times at Christmas when I'm on tour, I talk about this ministry called Compassion, and, uh, and it's a powerful, important ministry uh, to our family, to me, um, because it really is, the basic line is um, releasing uh, children from around the world to release them from poverty in Jesus' name. And uh, I loved it. And we sponsor children in our, in our family, in who we are. And uh, um, one of those uh, children I've talked about, her name is Zaina. So I'll show you a picture here. It probably will come up right, right in front of my face here. This is Zaina. I met her in Uganda. Um, and we had started sponsoring her. And then we met her. And, and from that time, we just continued to sponsor her. Uh, per month. It was $38 a month. That's what we would do, a little over a dollar a day. Many of you know how this works. I know even many of you sponsor a child. Here's what struck me coming into this Christmas show tonight. Sponsored her for me a long, long time. I think I look a little bit younger in that picture. We'll see. Uh, but over that time, we just have consistently. Here's one of the things that I don't know if I've ever shown you before that's so fun about sponsorship. I brought the file of all the letters that Zaina has written and in response to some of ours and just, even, you see, that's what it's like. It literally is putting a candle in the window. And so that's been over the number of years. And now if you can, this is actually Zaina now. She's 
a young lady now, no longer just this little girl I met years ago. Why do I show you that? Why do I show you this? Because sponsorship is about relationship. And these children need someone who believes in them. And I would say more than ever, because for our country and countries who have good financial authority and good financial resource, when we have been through what we've been through, it affects those worse. In fact, the conversations I've had with people who work in those other countries, the conversations are that poverty is going to go the other way. Um, it's going to go back down. We were making an impact, and now it's going to go backwards. It's just the nature of how this world is working. So why am I asking you tonight? I am asking you to consider before even the night or in this Christmas season to put a candle in the window for a child. And we've made it really easy this year. Uh, underneath that, under, in YouTube, there's also there uh, my friend Katie. She's doing all the interaction tonight uh, for you. If you have conversation in there, she's chasing a lot of rabbits right now with our little change that we did with the link. But in there is also a link for Compassion where you can go sponsor right there. You click on that link, it goes right to my site, which is then there's a Compassion site. And then you can sponsor a child right there. And here's why. Because it works for Zaina being this small. And now Zaina, in one of her most recent letters, says she wants to now go to college to become a doctor. Because where she lives, there are no doctors. Your sponsorship, your willingness to do that as a family, as an individual... That's what happens. So would you please consider to put a candle in the window of your heart to sponsor a child um, and just click on the link right below the picture on our concert video here tonight and, uh, and help make that happen. Um, because more than ever, because of what happens in a pandemic, they need it more than ever. And it's worth it. And it's actually really fun too. So we're going to now start a little singing some more. And we're going to start it. With the, I'm going to bring somebody up with me. Uh, you might have seen her in some Christmas shows before. I have five children. They all are musical. They all do crazy music things. And uh, this one has been willing to do uh, some of that with me tonight. Would you please clap in front of your computer screen or TV, whatever you want. And would you please welcome my daughter. This is Allison Ide. Woo! <laughs> Can you hear him? Oh, yeah. <laughs> all right. So we're going to uh, dive into this a little bit more. You didn't, probably didn't need to hear me drink and swallow on that microphone. Um, but we're going to. Okay, so I haven't really done a lot of these, so this is. Can you help out and say something really amazing? No. Okay, thanks. That's awesome. Way to go. You're grounded. Um, Fair I'm going to tune this up, and then we're going to go into it, all right? Uh, here's what I want you to do, is that at this moment of our night together, would you just close your eyes just for a second? And as you do that, would you just, as you close your eyes, just allow yourself, and even just maybe say a small prayer that says, Lord, let me just focus on your word, on your story, on what this Christmas season is truly about. Because it is Christmas time. Christmas time is here Happiness and cheer Fun for all The children call Their favorite time of year Snowflakes in the air Carols everywhere Olden times to share Sleepers in the air Beauty, Beauty everywhere, everywhere. You'll tied by the fireside And joyful memories there And they were in the same country separate Abiding in the field Keeping watch over the flock by night and lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone round about them. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, 
I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. Ye shall find the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God. And say, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward men. No. Come on, folks, let's sing this together in a song of worship like this. Here we go. Angels from the realms of glory.
<laughs> the, uh, one of the um, best parts of the Christmas story is that Luke chapter 2, and the angels from the realms of glory. And you heard even in the, a little while ago, there's that whole uh, um, being the, the scripture being recited by um, a couple kids. And that part, though, that has always uh, drawn us um, as a family and even just as a story is specifically about Mary. And the fact of she at 15 years old or whatever it might have been, God said, would you be willing to do this? And she hesitated at first, but then she says, do what you want with me. And so often that has just overwhelmed me. Um, not that just because I've gone through girls with 15 who are 15 and just that, but even just the idea that God would say, pick a, someone that no one would pick and say, I want to I use you to bring the king who would save the world. And as we kind of move into this uh, song, um, this is a new version of the song. And, um, uh, it was actually a friend of mine um, from Wisconsin named Pastor Bill who asked me, he said, hey, I've loved your version of this song. Would you make a video? And I said, yes. I said, can we talk about what that might look like? And we kind of had some creativeness. And then I said to Allison, I said, hey, Allison, do you want to help me make a video? And she goes, yes. <laughs> and then she said, um, she said, can I help? And I said, well, I said, how about you just take it? So even that video you see was all her from beginning to end. She produced that whole thing. But we wanted to capture in this song and on that video um, just the power of the message and the, how the Christmas story is so, the gospel is alive in this song right here. And I don't know if you've seen the video. Hopefully uh, you'll get a chance. Uh, but tonight, uh, this is the first time we've performed it. I guess you could call this live. And... Uh, uh, we hope you enjoy it, and we hope that you allow yourself to continue to just step into the season um, because uh, there's a great question when you ask that says, Mary, did you know? One day rule all 
the nations. Do you know that your baby boy is heaven's perfect delight? Is sleeping child you're holding is the grave.
Would you just sing this right where you're at and just go, Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. You do it again. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Oh, come, let us adore him. Christ the Lord. And we get to do that. And it's so, so good. And we can also celebrate it with our life and what we do. And those words that we can find to say, what does it mean to live our life with the Christmas spirit? Could sound like this.
It's good. It is so, so good. Yes, this world needs more than ever for us to be uh, playing our drum, living our life out with what God gave us uh, to help and to uh, make a difference in this, in this world. I, uh, I have uh, been remiss uh, to share uh, something really, really important. As we know before, we, had n- we did not know that we were even going to have any Christmas shows. And uh, this event tonight is simply because of uh, its made happening, shall we say, uh, by a place that I have spent a lot of time in. It's kind of my church, one of my churches that I call home on the east side of Wisconsin uh, called Shepherd of the Hills in Pewaukee, Wisconsin, an amazing church and amazing people. Uh, who are really like family. Uh, we've, we just, uh, we share our hearts openly, and they've been a part of uh, ministry. We actually recorded the with record for a bunch of you who were at that live recording. We recorded there. But this night and this time of Christmas, I want to make sure that we recognize them and appreciate them uh, for helping make this happen. And all my f- uh, friends at Shepherd of the Hills in Pewaukee, thank you, thank you. And Bill, uh, Bill, who's out there running kind of all the promotion and getting all the social media and the stream lined up, I want to thank him as well. Uh, he's been uh, spinning a lot of plates to make it happen. So very, very grateful uh, for all that. Um, we, we are going to be kind of hitting our landing spot here uh, as we spend our time together. Um, this concert will be available on my YouTube page if you want to come back and watch again or share it with somebody. It, it's not just a live one. We're going to let it sit on the page as well uh, so you can watch it again or share it if you find it. Um, but um, as we end in this time, um, I want to end in this place that uh, is less more about announcements and different things like that um, and more about, shall I say, uh, knowing how much uh, we love you and even a blessing. This song um, that uh, we're going to sing is one that uh, when I wrote it, I really, I used to, I would sing blessings over my kids, and uh, I wanted to have like a song that would be like a Christmas blessing, and what came out of it was this, um, that every Christmas, we do it year after year, we have traditions, but Christmas, folks, the most important one is the one that you're in, and this one has weird dynamics. We just got to always keep recognizing that. Gatherings, lockdowns, all those things. But yet God truly will meet you in this Christmas like never before if you allow him to and you open your heart to saying, I want to know a new Christmas. I want to know my relationship with Jesus like I've never known it before, whatever that might look like. And so this Christmas is the most, just the most important one right now. And because it's the one that we're in. And in the midst of 2020, we make a lot of fun about it. What a great way to end it strong on this Christmas. May the star invite you. May the angel's song remind you And may his mercy find you And give you perfect peace May you seek your treasure Only at the manger And may you find no strangers Only family This Christmas May you find joy, joy, joy And may you find love, love, love And may you find hope in the one who has come He's come to give you joy, joy, joy And love, love, love And may you find peace in the one who has come This Christmas Endless hallelujahs Glory to the one who came to set us free And may you find his glory In this old, old story And may his spirit guide you And lead you to believe This 
this Christmas. And may you find joy, joy, joy. And may you find love, love, love. And may you find hope in the one who has come. He's come to give you joy, joy, joy. And love, love, love. And may you find peace in the one who has come may you never be the same again may that holy night in Bethlehem draw you to a life that never ends oh it never ends and may you find joy, 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 and may you find love, 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 and may you find hope in the one who has come. He's come to give you joy, 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 and love, 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 and may you find peace in the one who has come this Christmas. Christmas Amen I'd like to pray for you before we kind of uh, find our end to our evening together if you allow me I'd just like to pray for you right now uh, wherever you are at and then we have uh People were uh, chiming in and saying they're going to watch from all over. Um, but if you allow me just to pray in this way of media for you like now. Uh, Father, I give you thanks. I thank you that we could do something like this, Lord. Uh, I thank you for all the people that helped make this happen and their talents and gifts. And Lord, most of all, I pray a blessing upon all who are watching and listening. Wherever they are and whatever is going on, Lord, would you remind them there is really joy, hope, and love. And the real joy, hope, and love is only found in you. And amidst all what this world has been experiencing, Lord, may we as followers of you, we who love you, truly uh, play our drum, truly bring peace and love and hope to those who are in need, no matter where they might be and no matter how we make that happen. And Lord, may every person who is praying right now, listening to this, May they have a blessed Christmas and one that is never uh, like one they've had before. Brand new, something new. Thank you for my friends and family uh, who are all a part of this evening tonight. And Lord, we just pray uh, that you would be glorified and lifted up and people would know you more than anything else in this Christmas. In Jesus' name. And if you agree, would you say amen? Amen. Oh, holy night, the stars are brightly shining. It is the night of our dear Savior's birth. Long lay the world in sin. So felt its worth, a thrill of hope, a weary world rejoices for yonder. love.
tradition that we have uh, at our Christmas shows that we were kind of talking about earlier going, not sure how this will go, but we're going to go. And that is in this way. Uh, we always end uh, joining hands with those that are near to us and dear to us. I was saying that earlier, we won't do that. And, uh, uh, but to grab those hands of those that you're doing life with and wherever you're watching right now, uh, if you're able, and uh, um, Sing this first verse of this song to keep our hearts in the right spot and uh, to just press on in to the rest of what God has for us this Christmas season. So we'll sing it together all the way through just like this, okay? Silent night, holy night, all is calm. All is bright Round yon virgin Mother and child Holy infant so tender and mild Sleep in heavenly peace Christmas friends. It is a joy to be with you. Thanks for taking the time to sing with us and to be together tonight. We love you and hopefully maybe next year we get to see each other in person. Merry Christmas. <laughs> 